Welcome back to Case Closed Anime Review, episode number 103. This is the 993rd episode of anime. Makoto Kizio, the understudy. Yep, that is the name of this episode. Mm -hmm. This episode does feature a return of two characters. Makito himself, and of course, Mass Misera. Mass Misera, her last pair was way back in episode number 942. Like, wow, it had been that freaking long. And since that appearance, as Makoto himself, his last appearance was in, uh, let's see here. Let's see, I'm looking up right now. What was his last appearance in? Well, here we go. Let's see here. Let's see. His last appearance in the anime was back in episode number. <clears throat> wow. I mean, that was basically a poem puppet. His last appearance was in episode number 855. Which, how long ago was that? Let's see. Look up right now. That was back in 2017. Yep, but technically, his last appearance was actually in a movie. Yep, a movie that came out two years ago. Yep. So this is Makoto's first appearance in two years. And it seems as though last couple times he appeared, both times he appeared in anime original stuff. But it's always great to see him both and... Masumi. Now, as far as I can tell, this is the second time they appeared in the story together. The last time is when they first met. Now, this episode is a canon episode adapted from chapters 1022 and about the first 12 pages of chapter 1023. Now, in the case of the chapter itself, is there any changes? Oh, yes, there is a change. As a matter of fact, the opening bit is complete anime original. What we see, Kabayama, the the hero who Sonoko is, uh, so is a big fan of, where she is there along with Makoto, her boyfriend, Sarah, Ran, and Conan. They're just basically there. Apparently, they're having a date, and they just happen to have these people there. And this opening bit now, the manga did not start here. It started after the movie was already over. Yeah, which. I do appreciate them actually doing this because you're probably thinking, wait, you show them basically look like they just finished a movie and you don't show the movie itself? Maybe the writer of the series basically was expecting the anime to this. And he did. The chapter itself came out like a few years ago. I have to take a look and see. When was this chapter released? Let's see here. Hmm. I mean, the, the episode itself was released just this, just today. Can I look up see exactly when exactly the uh, the chapter itself was released? Mm -hmm. It seems like it's been like a while ago that it was released. Let's see if we can find it here. Here we go.
because this is basically this 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 episode plus next two orientation of an arc known as the TV drama murder case. That's what this arc is called. Mm-hmm. Let's see again because this is the most recent arc of the depth. Let's see here. Hmm. Let's see here. <laughs> okay, this, this the, the arc itself was released. Uh, let's see, it started back in November of 2018, and it finished up in January of 2019. So, this arc actually just finished up just prior to me starting it. Read the manga. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this one is, in case you're curious though, this arc is roughly like five chapters. Yeah, five chapters and three episodes. That's not surprising. The next one, believe it or not, is only just five episodes. It's really, sh- it's basically the same length. Yeah, there's not many, this is actually, believe it or not, like, for manga chapters, this is adaptation of the 295th case. <sighs> now, this was a different anime. That If this was, let's say, David Studio, they might adapt all five chapters, like one episode. They, they probably would do that, but I highly doubt they would. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. So, pretty much like, um, like right after the date, they're just basically walking, and then we see Bako look across. Oh yeah, this woman being be insulted by a guy holding her hostage. Beats the guy, and it turns out nope, it's not really a hostage situation. It is a set. Now, if I was basically, if I was basically producing this movie, I would, now, if you were shooting the sidewalk, fine, whatever. Perhaps you could, oh, I don't know, have freaking security there, or have the whole street freaking blocked off, so you wouldn't have five people walk down the road, and because the actor's not unconscious, the director basically forgives them, basically, oh yeah, and also they have this thing where, so like, oh, folks, one of the fact that, well, we have, <laughs> we have basically referred to Sarah as just judo ex- uh, basically a top boy uh, who's a judo expert. Uh, Ran being the <laughs> the the best fighter in, in Kanto, and of course the undefeated her undefeated boyfriend four hundred plus matches. Heck, even when her uncle found out that he was like undefeated four hundred matches, he's like, "What, really?" Cool. I'll hire him. <laughs> yep. So then he gets hired on the spot as a stunt man who can actually perform the stunts of basically martial arts. Basically he says, Oh yeah, I know some karate. Yeah, he's a martial arts expert, so it makes perfect sense to do this. And they even figured that why why not Matt, why not uh, Sarah and Rand become stunt women? After all, they know martial arts too. It's like, nah. The actors like I can do my own stunts, <laughs> but it wouldn't hurt them at all because they work out and don't make Rand angry because she can actually break. So I see her basically break freaking metal with her fist and not get hurt at all. <laughs> so pretty much like okay, they do the set after he just basically does a thing on set and of course like Sonic goes cheering him on from the sidelines so. I highly doubt they make the cut of the movie, basically. There's no one directly like, hey, be quiet. Shh, quiet on the set. And you're like, nah. <laughs> yep, and then, of course, we find out that the lead act of the movie is a prankster. Yes, a prankster who nobody likes his, his pranks at all. Like, oh, let's have an electric pen or gluing together two pieces of fake eyebrows. And also, he insults Sonico. Now, in the manga, he first was money-hungry. In the anime, he first was a gold digger. But the girl was like, what you said is unper- I can't ignore what you have said. And it seemed as though he was going to beat the crap out of this actor for daring to assault his girlfriend. And so I was like, no, no, don't worry about it. Because he does want to get in trouble. Because, well, she does know about his temper. Oh, yeah, she was all about it. <laughs> Oh, if you're curious, though, did they ever solve the question exactly what's under the band-aid that's under his forehead? Well, what's under the band-aid is a picture of him and Sonico. 
Yeah, believe it or not, he does not reveal this until the second, like, the most recent film that came out, which came out two years ago. There was a film that to come out last year, but it was late because of the stupid pandemic. I would not be surprised when we get to release this year. <laughs> yep, so then of course we have like apparently like off screen we actually have sort of a let's just say um, a sequence film off screen fighting in the classroom and then we see that the lead actor apparently is gone missing. Everyone's like, where the heck is he? And then we see him falling out of the window early as supposed to. He was supposed to be shot. Here he was simply pushed out and his head just flat on the ground. So they call the police. And which police officer shows up? Why, McGuire and Takagi. And apparently they'll do the usual thing like, what? What are you guys doing here? So, they feel, so basically, the oh yeah, by the way, the AR director, they also have this thing where the, the, the lead actor, they like the fact there was nail ground and they mentioned about the previous AR director, the a a a AD person where he apparently died. It turns out he died later on because of a they thought because of the of a prank. Nope. It was because of a car crash. Yes, a car crash killed him. I'm like, okay, that's interesting. So pretty much like right after that, like basically after he shows up. So they use investigating of course Conan is the one who basically Finds a phone. Yes, basically a possible way, the reason why he was even killed. And they, of course, McGuire does his thing, does the manga, he just swipes phone from Conan. And it's like, oh yeah, we guys were detectives, we can do whatever we want. <laughs> yeah. He's like, er, fine, high school detectives, whatever. That's basically, he doesn't like him very much. But he doesn't, he acts proofs of CG, and he's not a problem with CG, but apparently he has a problem with Sarah. I'm like, really? Yeah, you have a problem with the son of your closest friend? We have a problem with a friend of, of basically a close friend of a guy who basically is one of your best friends? <laughs> yeah, that makes some freaking sense. That's how McGuire has written the series. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they kind of figure out that this phone basically was responsible for it, so they just basically just, well... There's like a concluded that, that Makoto basically responds to this. Not really, no. So, then the episode ends quite interestingly with one of the AR directors basically texting the guy that says, I found the culprit. And that's where the episode ends. Basically on the 12th page of chapter 1023. Of course, it's the, episode, the rest of the chapters is probably going to next week's episode. I got a handle it. Good episode, good mystery. Also, the lead actress who didn't like the lead actor, she of course basically resented basically replaced with stunt with basically stunt work. She's like, Oh, I can do my own stunts, despite the fact she has done stunt work in, in some time. How long? Don't know. Also, she's out of breath because she's, she's been out because basically she's out of shape. I would probably have stunt women step in for you because you apparently can't do action scenes much. I mean, she's only in her twenties and she's still remarkably thin. It's probably because she has, uh, my, my guess is she probably has a bunch of cardio. That's probably what it is. Probably as much as she's out of breath. Yep. But yeah, really good episode. Can't wait for next week's episode. Yep, so that's it for single view. Next one is Return of the Contessa Quintuplets. That'll be up soon. Okay, to the next video. Bye.